Sin Chao, Chao Bui Sang, Mui Noi, Moi Ngoi. Hey everyone, good morning. Seems that Prism Live is still having the audio issue, so unfortunately, I don't think I could play that intro too much until it gets resolved. But I'm in a new city in Vietnam today, the country's capital, Hanoi in the north part of Vietnam. Today's date is Tuesday, March 26, 2024. The time's about nine o'clock a.m. Temperature is 79 Fahrenheit, 26 Celsius. Much different dynamic than Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon, in the southern part of Vietnam. I'm very close to the Old Quarter, which is one of the main tourist spots in Hanoi. Oh, this is all in Chinese. I think that might be like a Chinese religious institution. I just arrived yesterday in Hanoi. Looks like it's uh, very compact around here. The sidewalks are very like dense. Yeah, I think this is a uh, Chinese Buddhist temple. Actually, um, the northern part of Vietnam has a lot of influence from Chinese um, culture. It was part of China, I believe, in uh, like a large part of the Han Dynasty. So it's really interesting to see this. Look at this, there's fruit growing right in this tree. Today, China and Vietnam are two separate countries, but there's no denying that China had a huge impact on Vietnam. Benno says, great to see you in Hanoi. They have a man-made beach in the new quarter. It's crazy. Uh, thanks for letting me know about the new man-made beach. I don't even know what kind of fruit this is. It's growing right on the tree here. A lot of these characters I can read too. Oh, it is pomelo? Hong Mao saying it's pomelo fruit. 
You got some tiny little oranges. Dutchman says, do they still have the Hanoi Hilton? I don't know, it's really my first day here, so you're going to be um, seeing it with me. It's a beautiful Buddhist temple with amazing carvings and artwork, architecture, everything. Vincent just went to Hanoi with your family four months ago. I think I'm really going to enjoy my time in Hanoi. Doug says, nice with photography. Yeah, that's what I've seen in the old quarter. I just spent a few minutes in here. Everything's very dense and walkable. Well, walkable in the sense that it's Vietnam. There's still a lot of places where the sidewalks are obstructed or there is no sidewalk to really speak of. And you got to be careful crossing the street too. But people seem to be understanding. Look, there's even Chinese characters up there. Zhongguo something. China something up there on the characters. I'm also trying to learn some Vietnamese and uh, I'm finding it a lot easier for me to pick up than Chinese, especially because it uses the Latin alphabet. I know some basic readings and expressions. Christopher says a lot of photography opportunities here. Yeah, for sure, look. Here's another place with Chinese characters. I see this word a lot, soy, X-O-I. There's Bun Cha, that's a popular um, Vietnamese rice noodle dish. Dian says, hi everyone, I'm very excited to see and learn about Hanoi. I have a Vietnamese English dictionary. Steamed glutinous rice. Unfortunately, I don't think this has pronunciation. I'd love it to have pronunciation. Oh, it does. This is actually a good app. Soy is steamed glutinous rice, and rice is a big deal here in Vietnam.
you can really see a lot of like old architecture here in the old quarter. Beautiful ones too, like over here. Oh really, Dutchman, colloquially known as Hanoi Hilton, this famous prison has been mostly torn down. I'll be honest with you, I didn't really do that much research on Hanoi before I came here. I just had the uh, instinct to come here. But I'll learn as I go, especially through this live stream and learning on the way. A busy street. Hangao Street. I appreciated City Walks saying thank you for showing us Hanoi. I'm very grateful to be here as well. Canada Business feels more like a small, a small town. I get that feeling too. But this is just the old quarter. Eyeglass Lay says Hanoi doesn't seem as crowded as Ho Chi Minh City. Yes, it does not. Ho Chi Minh City is um, by far the most popular city or populated city in Vietnam. Dust Bat Rabbit asking any Mexican restaurants around there. Keep a lookout. That's why I'm live streaming here. So we can all see it pretty much for the first time. I'm going into Hanoi Blind. All right, let's cross. Oh, light is changing. I'm walking here. Easy to cross the street. Actually, I'll give it this. Much easier to cross the street in Hanoi compared to Ho Chi Minh City. Ho Chi Minh City is like S tier when it comes to crossing the street. Hanoi is like a B. If you can handle Ho Chi Minh City crossing the street, Hanoi is easy. And if you can handle New York crossing the street too, 
Ho Chi Minh City is also easy, or I should say easier. I think um, I think New York is like A tier when it comes to crossing the street in terms of like risk level. Hey, look who it is. It's Johnny Strides. What's up, Johnny Strides? You've been to Hanoi before? Ban Chuen Nguyen. Vietnamese steamed rice wall. I heard this is very popular in Hanoi. Clara W says, I don't know why, but if I live here, it seems more stressful compared to living in New York City. Well, there's, uh, I would say, like different perspectives to each place. Harry says, what would you say is the main difference between Vietnam and Thailand? Um, well, someone almost tripped there. Let's go this way where all the tourists are going. Um, the people and the language, really. That's what makes a big difference. This is a beautiful street. It has kind of like a curvy nature to it. A much different feel to Hanoi than Saigon. Deborah wonders if there's a food court here. I'm sure there are. I've seen there are shopping malls here. But I think for the most part, if here in the old quarter, it's more like street food and restaurants. Ga Long Bien. Long Bien Station. This is a train station. Oh, I think the train is coming. Let's take a picture of the train. going to stand here. Every combo, is there people who talks English? Yes, there are. People are getting on over there. And then I'll go down the track that way. I know, Benno, we got a great timing here. Let me put this on wide angle mode. I can get more of the train. Really, Harry, this is where you can catch the train from Hanoi to Saigon. Considered the slowest train ride in the world. 
You know, let's go down there. I want to see people boarding the train. We'll see what life is like in... Oh, no. I got told by a staff member, no. Not the respect. Eyeglass laser, that's a massive train. I know. This just gives you an idea of what life is like in Hanoi. I'm glad to have caught this train. There's still people boarding. DC 322, where's that train going? Someone was saying this is where the train leaves from Hanoi to Saigon. But I'm not sure where this specific train is going. It's so exciting to see live. It really is. Okay. I think they're ready to leave. No one else is boarding, from what I can tell. Nice horn. Oh. I guess she can still make it. Actually, it does seem like a slow train, but it works. Very nice. And this is the uh, waiting area. Okay. 
there's a, oh wow, there's a machine here. 5,000 dong for a bottle of water? That's actually really good. I'm gonna get one. And they take 5,000 um, dongs as well. Usually the vending machines and uh, public transit places like this, they're really affordable. I think I do have a 5,000 dong note. Yes, I do. This is the uh, highest denominated banknote made out of paper. Anything above 5,000, 10,000 and above is made out of plastic polymer. Zero one. Zero one. Okay. All right. I got a water. Right now the exchange rate is about one US dollar to twenty four thousand nine hundred dong so round it up to like 25,000 so you're talking about like 20 cents US You know what, that doesn't really seem safe to cross there. It's like a motorbike bridge. There's like a gate I saw the other side here. Or maybe not, it got roped off now. I don't know where I am. I'll just walk back where I came. There's apparently there's train tracks here. I can't cross, but it was nice to see the train. I got a bottle of water. Or in Vietnamese, they call this Nua. Nua is water. Dasani from the Coca-Cola company. Yes, loot, I'm in Hanoi now. I'm enjoying it so far. It feels a lot more compact and walkable. At least this area compared to Ho Chi Minh City. Maybe we can try this street. Maybe it's better, I can continue on through here. I think I'll have better luck. What's for sale here? Looks like different kinds of peaches or oranges.
Yeah, DN does look like some modern buildings. Prada iced tea. Da means iced or chilled and nong means warm. And tra means tea. Uh, textiles for sale and rugs yes eyeglass lee kumquats I actually had a kumquat, uh, kumquat drink this morning it was really good a little bit on the sour side There's a lot of vendors here. Mason jars, glass jars, cups, bottles. From what I can really see from the Vietnamese people, they work really hard. Look, there's another uh, Buddhist temple here. Let's not fight this truck. Hey, the Spider King 324 with 499. Do you have any interest in visiting a POW camp? I'd be interested. Thanks so much, the Spider King 324. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Be real says the scooters seem to go wherever and not with the flow of traffic. Dangerous. Uh, yes, sometimes they do. You have to be aware. For the most part, people do respect like a general direction of flow, but there are people who do uh, short turns and drive on the opposite side of the road for like short distances, and that can get kind of dicey. And you have to be really careful like through blind corners and driveways and especially the road surface because a lot of times it's uneven. How many of you are brave enough to cross this street? I'm sure 80% of you are going to be like, I'm staying here, man. I'm not going. Well, oh, be confident. I'm telling you. you Got to be confident and do what I do. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Uh... And the sidewalk is blocked, so we got to go around this way. Hey, 
and make eye contact with the drivers. That's the most important. Hung mouse says that car didn't slow down for me. Nope, did not. But they saw me. So I think this is like the heart of the old quarter now. We're getting in some of the narrow streets. Cynthia, you like this area? It's really nice. Yeah, be real, I don't think there's gonna be too many stray animals wandering around here. It's too dense. Let's go down that street. It looks kind of cool. What is this, a crosswalk that goes into a bunch of parked cars? Where do you go after the parked cars? Flowers for sale, this is nice. <laughs> Platinum says that traffic is wild. Hey, it makes Vietnam exciting. It, um, I've said this before, but the traffic seems chaotic, but it's actually, it actually works. Ha Giang open tour. Ha Long Bay Sapa trekking. Ha Giang loop. Yeah, Ha Long Bay I heard is really nice around here. There's a nice like boat cruise and it's one of the uh, wonders of the world. Hey, the mighty bull. Thank you for the support, appreciate it. Some beautiful lanterns. I wonder if these are out of season now because Tan is over the Lunar New Year for Vietnamese. For a Chinese New Year, you can call it Chinese New Year too. No offense to anybody. Another Buen Cha place. Eyeglass lady, you love the colored lanterns. They're so pretty. There's a far restaurant, rice noodle soup. Looks like this is the metal section. 
a lot of people welding different um, metal like utilities, shelves, knives, kitchen uh, supplies. Let's not walk next to this construction site. Cabby says no cars pull. Well, oh, there's plenty of cars. What I noticed here too are a good amount of tourists. My goodness. They're really working on that building. Autumn Wolf says you love how they have mixed-use buildings. Yeah, just take a look. says cars are expensive in Vietnam for sure. That's why you see a lot of motorbikes around. Mike Ryder with a $2 super chat. This is definitely cool here. Thanks so much. Appreciate the support. What do you think? Do you like this better than Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City? At least this area that I'm showing right now. It seems that like everywhere I walk, it's like a different vibe or a different sense of scenery around here. Kami G says this area is really nice. They have pho ga here, which is chicken pho. Booking office, head office, street food tour, jeep tour, perfume pagoda, Ninban Sapa Trek, Ha Gyeong Loop, and Mai Chao, and Ha Long Bay. There's so many different activities here. And uh, here is Egg Coffee, Cafe Trung. Vietnam is known for their coffee.
Actually, you know what? Um, this part of Vietnam, the Old Quarter, reminds me of a lot of places that I visited in Taipei, believe it or not, or Taiwan. Not so much Taipei, but some of the uh, intermediate cities like Taichung or Tainan. It feels that way. And there's even a, a Buddhist temple here. Oh, hi! Nice to meet you. Wow. That's crazy. My first day in Hanoi, someone said hi to me. The action kid. La Mensa Cafe. It seems like a chill spot to be. Cynthia Ava says I want to go there now. It's fun. And you know what too? Um, I feel that Hanoi, the prices in Hanoi are even more affordable than Ho Chi Minh City where I stayed. So if you really want to uh, like get a lot of value for your money and you want to stay for a long time, Hanoi is a great place. Cammy says, interesting apartments above the shops. Yeah, pausing to look at them every once in a while. A lot of mixed use buildings. where I stayed in Ho Chi Minh City. I paid a little over $50 a night to stay there. And here in Hanoi, I'm paying much less than that. It's insane. And you know, kind of an odd feeling that I have is that I kind of appreciate Vietnam for not being as touristy as Thailand. When I went to Thailand, it felt weird because some places that it felt like there were more tourists than locals, especially in like the heart of Bangkok. I, I was walking around, I was like, wow, it feels more like a, like a Western country than Thailand, especially when I went inside the shopping malls and the main streets like Sukhumvit Road. But here in Vietnam, you still see a lot of locals compared to tourists and expats.
Cynthia Abbas as Thailand's too touristy. I said it too, because um, I'm, I'm going to let this car go. Um, Bangkok is the most visited city in the world, and you saw it through my videos. I have to wait a long time to cross that street. And uh, I think part of the reason why Thailand attracts uh, more foreign visitors than Vietnam is because they have a more open like visa process and because it also attracts a lot more foreign investment as well. There's a lot more countries that can go to Thailand visa free and they don't need to apply. For me, for me as a US citizen to come to Vietnam, I had to go to a website and fill out information to get approved for an e-visa to get here. So I think just that entire process of applying for a visa deters a lot of people. And I guess, um, Vietnam isn't as developed as Thailand is. Like you saw Bangkok where I was, there was a lot of shopping malls and restaurants geared towards tourists, but here, not the same. It's more of a local environment. It does get tourism, but not to the extent that Bangkok gets. And uh, Taiwan, it was kind of like the same thing with, um, with Vietnam. There's still a lot more locals and it's not really a tourist spot as much. I know Taiwan is trying to get more tourism. They have a lot of programs to attract tourists. I spent a lot of time there. RC Farsi says, but do you still prefer Miami? I like all the places I go to, to be honest. I'm very open when it comes to places to uh, see and do. Actually, um, I don't really like it when a place gets too touristy. It's not really for me because it feels like the local experience is really like fading away and I don't really feel like connected to the culture as much. And it's something you even see throughout my videos and what I say, when I like to do my videos, I like to go to these local neighborhoods where people live and not so much the tourist spots. And over time, the more I do these videos, the less interested I get in visiting tourist spots. As strange as that sounds. Yes, Lou, Thailand does desert, uh, depend heavily on tourism. For sure. Cynthia Avis is very thankful you don't like tourist spots. I don't either. You don't travel that way. Another temple, Chinese characters.
Christopher Dawson says, exactly action kid. Most places will only show you the popular places and tourist spots. Tourist spots like New York, for example, but they don't show you the whole city or the whole neighborhood. And that's why I think my New York videos got really popular because I didn't want to show all the tourist spots all the time. Which is like Midtown Manhattan, Wall Street, Central Park, Soho. I went into these local neighborhoods in New York. But New York is also very different because uh, the tourist spots are also the place places where people work too and hung out the locals and the tourists like shared in the same uh, space but I didn't really get that feel in Thailand in the places I visited Pattaya and Bangkok it felt like there were more tourists than locals there and, and the locals didn't really go there it was all like a place for tourism It's actually a nice sidewalk here. I'm very appreciative of that. Well, there's uh, multiple day tours for Ha Long Bay, Sapa. Interesting. Deborah Roberts asking, do you think the countries you visited are safe for a woman traveling alone? I would say generally yes. I travel alone too and I, um, I feel pretty safe Actually, another thing that is probably unique to me is that my appearance. I'm ethnically East Asian, Chinese. So when people look at me, they don't really think I'm a foreigner right away. They might think I'm a foreigner just through the way I dress, the clothing, because I look different from my clothing. But sometimes I come up people come up to me they start speaking Vietnamese right away or Chinese or Japanese or Korean it's funny sometimes people can't guess what I am and um, I get a lot of reactions when I start speaking English in a New York accent they're like whoa so in a way like I kind of blend in with the environment here Canada Biz says you sound very American because I am I identify more as an American than Chinese because I was born and raised in America. But I admit I do have a lot more interest in Asia and Asian cultures than many of my peers or people who have been raised in the United States. Actually, I, I have more of an interest for the world in general, not just Asian culture. Um, I think that's what really makes me unique and special too. A lot of people are closed-minded. 
Thanks, Rudy Montoya with $5. Will you be in the USA for the solar eclipse? Thank you, Rudy. Appreciate the support. As for that question, stay subscribed. You'll find out. There's actually a good amount of spas here, which I'm very uh, looking forward to because just due to the nature of my work, it's a lot of stress on my body. My muscles tense up a lot and tighten up and they help me just work that much better by getting a massage to relieve the tension and the stress. Routinely says I have no hat. Yeah, I didn't feel like I wanted to bring it out because it's much cooler here than Ho Chi Minh City. Stylish, funny, I'm very open. I'm hoping to travel everywhere. And to many people, and I just get it from some of your um, comments too, Vietnam can be intimidating just with the traffic situations crossing the street. I know many of you will have a hard time adjusting to it. You may see this live stream and say, wow, I don't think I can handle it. But believe me, when you're here, you adapt very quickly, especially if you're interested in different cultures. The old quarter is so nice. I could walk around like this area so much and every time it will be different. Johnson says a beer is only 21 cents. You wish New York is this cheap. I'm uh, really shocked at some of the prices here. It's unbelievable. Me being from New York, I'm loving the prices here. It looks like uh, this is the main street coming up. Let's see how the uh, traffic situation and the pedestrian flow is on the street coming up. Oh, Lute says you're Vietnamese, but I have Korean mistaking you for Korean, Chinese mistaking me for Chinese. One day you said you speak, uh, look Turkish. Um, it's funny. I thought, some person thought I was Spanish before, Korean, Japanese, Chinese. Um, Vietnamese. Yeah, I think those are the top five ethnicities I get misidentified as. But luckily for those people, I can speak a little bit of each language.
Yes, Spanish. And then I say, Yo soy Americano. Yo hablo un poco de español. And then if it's uh, Japanese, I say um, Watashi wa America Jin des. And then if it's Chinese, I say <laughs> I say Wo shi mei guo hua qiao di san dai Third generation overseas Chinese And Korean, I don't know how to respond to someone in Korean. Because I just maybe started picking up some phrases. I'll just smile and say, Anyo Heseyo. Vietnamese, I can say Hoi la Hoi la ngui mi which means I'm American I uh, was learning how to say can you speak English right before I did this live stream but I forgot how to say it already it takes time well, these are the train tracks that we saw earlier Whoa, this is cool. You can walk right on the train. No? Okay. I guess only the locals can go down there. I got told by somebody, no. That's too bad, that street looked cool. <laughs> Cammy says I look like private residence. It's possible. It would help if I could read the sign. Trend five. Looks like a Chinese restaurant. Pineapple water says you're allowed to sit next to them and have a drink. You've seen tables there at night, many people. Yeah, that's what happens in Vietnam. Up, oh, Main Street, folks. You know what time it is. Time to just stay here and stay here and stay here and not do anything. Easy Mo compared to Saigon. A 
especially in Cholon. Cholon was madness, craziness crossing the street there compared to this. Yes, loot. They carry a lot of stuff on the motorbikes here. There's a lot of veggies here being sold. Kohlrabi, parsley, broccoli, dragon fruit, oranges. DEF CON, you'd be stopping at every restaurant and getting something. Oh, uh, believe me, it is tempting. Very tempting. Wolfie says in the tr suburbs, traffic's much heavier. I can see that. This is a really nice street where I turned on. Cafe Sinto Banmi. Uh, Cynthia, could a person with nuts and seafood allergies survive there? Asking for a friend. Um, yeah, there are plenty of dishes without nuts or seafood. Um, I would say it would be harder to like communicate with somebody that you're allergic to those things, but if you um, look carefully, then it may not be too bad. This is a really nice street. Nice wide sidewalk, tree, not that many cars. I might be walking out of the old court. I have no idea. Actually, there's a, what's close by is the Imperial Citadel of Tan Long over here. So we can check that out. I think um, going this way will take us out of the old quarter. We'll go more to like the uh, government center, I guess. There's a lot of buildings here too. Oh, I was looking down at my phone and I saw that metal pole at the last second. Eyeglass lace says, are you near government buildings? I think I am getting close to them. Oh, the old name of Hanoi is Tan Long. The old name of Hanoi. Okay.
Dutchman says the connection has been great so far. I expect it to be because we're right in the middle of the city. Walking around this tree. This sidewalk is like, you gotta be careful not to trip. Stylish bunny, let's look so sunny and nice there. Yeah, it is. It's actually a restricted area next to me. There was a sign that says restricted area, no trespassing. That person back there looked like a security guard or uh, official police. But you'll see that here in uh, Vietnam, when I went to Ho Chi Minh City, um, a lot of the security or police officers, they're wearing very formal uniforms. Also what I've noticed with schools here too, all the school children, they wear school uniforms. Okay, so where do I go to this Imperial Citadel? Okay, I can go north and then left. Because there's no way to cross the street here. Inspire life loves your confidence, they explore new places, you're inspiring. Thank you, the inspired life. Appreciate it very much. So I believe the Imperial Citadel is right over there, past the yellow fence. Let's see if there's a pedestrian crosswalk up ahead. Well, I guess if there's not, we can just cross the street anyway. It's not like it's a busy, busy road. Ministry of National Defense. Oh, we have to cross. Or well, she's asking for directions. You're going to the Citadel? Yeah, me too. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Nope. Okay. He told me no camera, but I just turned the gimbal off, so it looks like... Which is um, understandable. This is the Ministry of Defense. I don't want to get into legal trouble. Unknowingly. I'll just like walk down the block out of sight of him and then like come around the other way. But you're gonna get a shaky picture. <laughs> All right. For a minute there, I thought I was going to get in trouble or like detained. But yeah, I'm not going to walk over here anymore. The uh, Ministry of Defense, that sounds like a really, really like s sensitive area. As uh, you might expect. That's why there's a high fence there. But then again, the other security guard on the other street didn't have an issue with it. Yeah, hung mouse just have to find out what can be filmed, but then again, I had no idea this was the Ministry of Defense. Then again, that's not the intention of my channel anyway, to like reveal Vietnam's top military secrets that you won't see anywhere else. Daryl says, be careful where you go. I, I try to, yep. Russell says you're an adventurer and your spontaneous tour is inspiring. But uh, sometimes it can land me in trouble too, like what happened back there. <laughs> Unknowingly recording the outside of the Ministry of Defense and told not to record. I'm sure this citadel over here, I think this is probably the main entrance where the busy street is, is okay. Yeah, this looks like more of the tourist entrance. <laughs> so I'm good here. Hello, Xin Chao. New York. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, this is a really nice area. 
compared to the other side of the fence. <laughs> yep. I uh, chose the wrong block to walk on for my first time. Deborah says that barking doll that ran up to you was scary too. Hey, it wasn't my fault the Ministry of Defense is across the street from a major tourist area on the other side of it. I almost got in trouble in Vietnam my first day in Hanoi. <laughs> Ooh, I'm staying away from that leaf cutter. I'll chop your hand right off. Okay, so the Citadel. Should be up here. Here we are, the Imperial Citadel of Tan Long. Welcome, ticket office. So that's what it looks like. Open all day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You know, I think I'm going to have to make this a pre-recorded video because I'm going to run out of data soon, like within the next 10 minutes. So what I'll do is uh, probably just like walk along the side of it. And I'll probably go in there afterwards. to make a video. Ceramic paintings. Hopefully there's not a sensitive government location up here on this street. Then again, I don't think you can really get more sensitive than the Ministry of Defense. Oh, this is really pretty. You can tell it is an old wall too.
this is beautiful. They have all these pictures up of what it looks like inside. Chinese characters. Definitely a big Chinese influence in Hanoi. Yeah, stylish bunny. The wall isn't really kept that well. Oh, this is the main gate. Okay, this is where all the tourist bus drop people off. So uh, across the street is a guard with a gun, an assault gun. I'm uh, not wanting to cross the street over there. There's a fence there also. Or I can show it, I'm just a tourist. But this is the building. Boxon Monument that I looked at on Google. Oh, this is nice. There's actually a walkway here. I didn't see this before. Very peaceful area. People are here taking pictures. You know what, everyone? I think I'm gonna start winding down here. Seems like a good place for me to end off.
How did you enjoy that first live stream in Hanoi? Besides my interaction with the Ministry of Defense, that was kind of scary. All right, everyone. I'm going to say goodbye to you here. Tam Viet, Gat Lai Sao. Means goodbye, see you later in Vietnamese. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone, take care. See you later.